Uh, we have Queen Thais on the line here uh, to tell us about the 7th okay. Annual Liberated Minds Black Homeschool and Education Expo taking place uh, Friday, July 19th through Sunday, July 21st uh, in Atlanta. Um, welcome to the African History Network show. Queen Thais, how you doing tonight, sister? I'm doing fabulous. How are you? All right, all right. I'm all right. Good to uh, be here. You got some interesting knowledge here. Oh, Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks yes. for thanks for coming. That's some heavy research right there. Oh yes, yes. Thanks for coming on tonight. Well, you know it's that time of the year, and uh, it's time for the uh, annual Liberated Minds Black Homeschool and Education Expo. And yes. um, we know that more and more people are interested in this expo. More and more people are talking about uh, homeschooling, especially African American children. I saw an article from uh, the Detroit News from uh, July 6th that talked about how schools are, e even here in Michigan, schools are having a problem uh, with understanding how to teach the history of slavery. The uh, name of this article Schools Still Struggling with How to Teach About Slavery. Okay? So, so um, explain to people what is the Liberated Minds Black Home School and Education Expo? Well, it, it is just a powerful weekend. It's a, a, what I call a family gathering. It's now been coined the Family Reunion of African Centered Education, which I love. But it is a powerful weekend where, where all of us come together and we focus and we strategize and we train on how to educate, and particularly our black children. Okay. And so we know that, you know, we have a completely different set of needs. Um, and so. It really deals with, you know, educating our children from a holistic perspective. So we cover all types of things from uh, academic science, math, reading, writing, but we also go into holistic health and wellness. We have a workshop this year that deals with uh, trauma. You know, a lot of our children have gone through many types of trauma, whether it's at the hands of the public school system or family situation and circumstance. So we have a uh, workshop dealing with that, amongst many other things, you know, going a lot, we have dual enrollment workshop this year. We have one sister who's coming, our son is graduating from college and high school at the same time for free, you know, no money invested. Right. We're just teaching people how to do things that, you know, do classification. I say, you know, we have to homeschool ourselves as parents as well, but, um, you know, it's also an opportunity to come out and gain resources. So we have black books and curriculum materials. Um, over a hundred vendors, and you know you're always one of them every year that everybody yes. looks forward to. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, because you got the information. You know, the DVDs is simple. You can use it in the classroom. You can use right. it at home. You know, instead of having them watch a bunch of mess on TV, let them learn about their history right. and who they are. So I know, you know, my son was chasing you down for that 1804. I don't know if you remember that. Right, right. I remember. Yeah, I got you all a copy. I remember that. I brought one just for you all. Yep. <laughs> so it's amazing. You know, we have over 40 master classes for adults, educators, elders, parents, you know, anyone who is concerned about the well-being of children. Right. Right. So uh, this is taking place Friday, uh, July 19th through Sunday, July 21st. Um, and people should visit liberatedmindsexpo.com for more information. Liberatedmindsexpo.com for more information. Yeah. They have classes for adults, but you also have classes for children. Is that correct? Oh, we have, yes, we have master classes for everyone. And, you know, the children are going to learn just as much as the adults. I mean, we go into, they have science and STEM um, opportunities, interactions. They have, um, last year they learned about herbs and made their own tea bags. I mean, they're doing some real, you know, educational stuff and things that are holistic and memorable for life. Absolutely. All right. Now, uh, what is this year's theme for the uh, 2019 Liberated Minds Black Homeschool and Education Expo? What's this year's theme? The theme is the activation of our power in abundance. And the reason why we chose that theme is because we're in a, we're in a space and time right now where we are awakening because of all of the knowledge that we've been given. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I feel like it could be a knowledge overload, but not enough activation in actually implementing things, putting it into practice. Right. So the focus is now that we have all this information and access to great information, such as the information you provide as well, mm -hmm. you know, how do we actually bring, utilize it to allow our children to live in, in their divine purpose and cultivate them to their ultimate greatness? 
you know, and really give them the opportunity to be young entrepreneurs, have their own businesses, you know, to be able to carry some intergenerational wealth. So, you know, just it really just dives into all that. You know, Sunday we have the economic summit every year. So Sunday right. is our main day. We have the training, the classes, all the different uh, presenters, as well as Sunday is focused on building up our businesses, our economics, our strategies. Um, you will be there doing your powerful presentation. We have yes. such a whole lineup. We also have Sister Gabby from Gabby Bones. Gabby Goodwin will be there, who is a sixth grader making six figures with her invention. Wow. And, uh, now, what's her invention? She invented the a type of barrette that, that doesn't slide off your, off your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fascinating because, uh, you know, for us mothers, we know that's a big deal. Because, I mean, you know how many of our children lose their barrettes, you know, braid their hair and twist their hair and, you know, even with the locks and what have you. So... You know, it was a problem that she solved, which is really what it's about, solving the problems in our community. So right. she is, um, she even is micro-franchising. She has, has 75 micro-franchisees wow. underneath her business in addition to what she has and what she's pushing. And she also has a Mommy and Me Academy where she's training other young people. So this young sister, 12 years old, she's doing the doggone thing. She's going to be there. Uh, sharing her story, but also just her transformation because she was very shy in the beginning and didn't like to really, you know, felt uncomfortable talking to people and media. And, right. Um, she's worked through that, you know, done the training, public speaking training, and now she's completely confident, outspoken, you know, which is a lot, which I love, what I love about that is that a lot of times we feel like, well, our child, my child is not naturally like that. Right. But, you know, a lot of times it's not about what they're naturally at. Sometimes, you know, they have the gift that I just we have to cultivate it as parents. Exactly. And our expectations have to be high. We can't have low expectations. We can't use <laughs> the standard that has been given to us in education as our standard. That that cannot be our expectation because that expectation is way too low. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, we, we so can't... The opportunity, you know, you can meet people from all over, too. I know... Um, exactly. You know, we have families coming in from all, black families from all over the country, and now we have people coming in from Africa, the Caribbean. Wow. You know, UK. Wow. We have people that come every year. Sister just called me today. She's coming in from Kenya. And, um, you know, that's what it's about. Like, it's really like a family reunion. And the whole point is, it's for everybody. We have a whole campaign we're launching called One Million Black Homeschoolers Rising. We're launching it at the Expo. And it's really to separate the, you know, to, to clear the isolation because, you know, homeschooling is about us taking control of our children's education, putting that back into our own hands. Right. So my philosophy is start where you are. So even if your child is in the public school, homeschool them. Take some time in the evening. You say, I'm going to put, put aside an hour every night and we're going to study our ancestry. Or we're going to study some science. Mm -hmm. Or we're going to study, you know, whatever. And then on the flip side, you know, if it's the weekends you have, it's the weekends. Whatever time you have, you start where you are. And if you want better for your child, you'll do what you need to do. You know, you, you put yourself around the support system, which is what we're there for, you know, to make sure that we're supporting each other on this journey and that you have a whole other family out here that, that's ready and willing to do the work. Right. Okay, we're going to have a few minutes left here in this interview. Now, I know before a few, uh, I know before you talked about how the African centered education that we give our children has to uh, uh, cultivate their individualized um, uh, purpose in life or something to that effect, okay? Talk, talk, yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Talk, talk about that for a minute. The divine, uh, it has to uh, cultivate their divine purpose in life. Talk about that for a minute. And this is, this is what uh, African centered homeschooling does. Absolutely. What, what that really is, is simply we all have come here with, the, with our mission and our purpose right. and the things that we've come here to do in this lifetime. And so a lot of times our, our expectations our, as parents are different than what the children gravitate towards naturally, what they love and what they, you know, really enjoy being a part of. And so to really separate ourselves from what we think we want for them and really begin to study who they are, what they gravitate towards naturally, and cultivating that. You know, because that is, it's things that they enjoy. You think about it, you know, when you do what you love, you're always the best at it. You know, when you put your heart and soul because it's not work to you. You know, I'm sure with what you do, other people will say, I couldn't look up all that information all day. You know, that's too much work. And that's, right. That's too much. And people say to me, I don't know how you can work with children all day and talk to people and, 
you know, all the, and it's not work for me because I love it. And so, because when you, when you live in your divine purpose, you're able to achieve at much higher rate and you're able to be at peace, you know, because what good is it to just push your child in an area where they say that career is popular or that career is going to make a lot of money, but they're miserable. You know, they're not liking what they do. There's no joy in their life other than the money because money doesn't bring joy. It makes it a lot easier. Right. <laughs> But it doesn't, it's not the ultimate in terms of bringing your peace, you know. So when we cultivate divine purpose, we're looking at cultivating the whole child. So their health and wellness is key because, you know, what they eat, what they put in their body, their environment, what they have around them, all these different things, their their social structure, you know, becomes their mindset. I don't care what we're putting in as parents, their social structure, meaning the other young people that are around them and how they think in their culture, if they're a culture of achievers, Right. And your child will be amongst what? that. If they're a culture of low expectations and, you know, ill performance in life, uh, then right. that's, that's what you can expect, person? you know? Okay. All right. Um, give people the website again. How that's can right. well, Who should people talk to if they want to be a vendor or a sponsor or a volunteer? Absolutely. Okay. Um, you can visit the website, of course, which is www.liberated.com. Minds, M-I-N-D-S, Expo, LiberatedMindsExpo.com. Um, you can also give us a call at 678-368-8593. Um, the Expo is going on July 19th through the 21st in Atlanta, Georgia, and it will be held at Piedmont Technical College Conference Center. So it's three days. Fridays are meet and greet. We start off with a three-hour social. You know, we vibe on some great topics. Right. Uh, this year we also have uh, the Leo... Sullivan that will be coming through and he'll be doing a short uh, presentation on animation. He's really here to work and assist with some of the young people who are diving into animation. And those who don't know, he's the first black animator um, that worked for a lot of the major companies at that time, which was Marvel. He worked. He did all the animation for the Soul Train. Right. He did all the animation for Fat Albert and a lot of the others, the Spider-Mans and the, the, the you know, Marvel, Hannah Barbera, all that stuff back in the day. Okay. So he'll be doing a short um, short sharing on the, the importance of us starting and creating our own, because now he's created his own entity and sees the importance of that. And he's in his 70s now. So, um, so we'll also we'll have a vegan... Okay. Right, you know, right. Hey, hey, we, hey, 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 night to kick it off. hey, Queen Thais, we got a we got a minute left. Who should people talk to for sponsorship or to be a vendor or to volunteer? Um, they can just call that number six seven eight three six eight eight five nine three, or go to the website at liberatedmindsexpo dot com. I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. Give the phone number one more time. Sure, six seven eight three six eight. Eight five nine three. I appreciate you having me on as well. Okay, sister. I will see you fr uh, uh, Friday, July nineteenth. Okay. Okay. Thank All right. Looking forward to it. All right. Take care. Hotel. Okay. Much love to everyone. All right. Peace.